What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Finally, Samsung has started rolling out this all new update, the One UI Watch 4.5 for the Galaxy Watch 4 series. Both the Bluetooth and LTE variants of the watch have started receiving the update, at least in my region. I'm sure across the globe, most of you guys must be receiving this stable version of One UI Watch 4.5. As you can see the change log here, the update size is about 900.41 MB. And this change log is very much in detail. We have got each in every feature or changes which are here are very well explained in this change log. Now, if you haven't got a notification on your watch or on the phone, all you need to do is just go to settings on your watch, scroll all the way down, tap on software update. Now here it is going to check for the updates and if the update is available in your region, it will notify you. You can also check this on the wearable application on the phone. You can just open Galaxy wearable application, tap on watch software update. Here you'll be able to see the notification of this all new update. Now I'm really excited to let you know guys that all those features which are on the Galaxy Watch 5 series which was recently launched by Samsung just a few weeks ago have arrived on this previous generation watch that is a Galaxy Watch 4 series running on the Wear OS. Now if I'm not wrong even the regular Galaxy Watch 4 should have got the update by now, do let me know in the comment section whether you have received the update or not so that it can benefit the community. Now let's go ahead, I will quickly share all those new features which have arrived on this update. In the beginning it says enjoy new and improved watch faces with enriched style and customizable options. We have got six new watch faces here. We have Pebbles, Flower Garden, Info Board, Pro Analog, Kinetic Digits and Gradient Number. All these are available on the Watch 5 series and now we have them available on the 4 series as well. And now we can further customize the watch faces which are already there. For example, this particular watch face, if I tap on Customize, we get more styles and customizable options here. We also get some added dials, indexes, characters, color complications, clock, type, etc. This is what we have in the watch face section. The next important change that you can notice is the moment you open the quick panel, you will see the battery percentage right on the top. Earlier on Wear OS 3.2, we had to wait for a couple of seconds to see the battery percentage or the battery information here. And you can also notice we get to see the current date information right here at the bottom when you open the quick panel. Now let's move on to the next feature. Let me just tap and hold on the watch face here. Now this is the page where you see all your favorite watch faces. We will have to add a particular watch face from the ones which you have downloaded on your watch onto this favorite folder so that you can see it here. Now you may find this useful or you may not, it depends because now we have got two steps. First step is to add the watch face to the favorites and then set it on the watch. And earlier we had all the watch faces right here, but if you had too many watch faces, it would be a little difficult to sort and find the one that you want. But now we can add them to the favorites and have them accessible the moment you press and hold on the watch face. That's another change we have. Next one is the fully functional all new QWERTY keyboard for the watch. Now whenever you are sending a message or an email, it is very easy to type using this QWERTY keyboard. It is the same experience that we get on the phone. We now have it on the watch as well. Well, as you can see, we have got this full QWERTY keyboard here. We can just swipe up from the bottom to open up these options and we can tap on the settings and enable keyboard swipe controls as well. Just tap on keyboard swipe controls and select swipe to type. That is just fantastic. Now it is so easy to type on the watch while sending any messages or emails. I would say this is the best feature that we have got with this all new update. Now, immediately after you install the update, you may not be able to get this work. It doesn't work. I tried for a couple of times. The keyboard did not show up at all. I mean to see the QWERTY keyboard did not show up at all. It was still on T9. What I did was I went to the keyboard settings and I reset the whole settings here. You just have to tap on reset keyboard settings and then you should be able to see the QWERTY keyboard on the watch. And yeah, I almost forgot when you swipe up from the bottom of this keyboard, you will see these options here. We can easily switch between keyboard, voice input and handwriting options right here. The next useful feature we have got is under alarm section. Let me just tap and open the alarms. I will create an alarm here. And when I tap on next, you will see we have options like date, alarm name and snooze. These settings have been added on the alarms application, which is going to be really useful. We also have some update for the voice recording application. Now the files recorded on the watch are quickly saved to the connected phone as well. So we will be able to see those recordings on the phone as well. Now let me just go to settings. I'll tap on accessibility settings. Here we've got plenty of changes. I will just tap on visibility enhancements. Here we can see some new options. We have got high contrast fonts, remove animations option, 
reduce transparency and blur we have a toggle here to enable the bold font and we also have an all new option font size let me tap on this as you can see we can change the font size for the main text here this is cool now let's go back we have got hearing enhancements here i'll just tap on this now here you can see we have an all new option left right sound balance i will tap on this using this we can balance the sound for your left and the right ear depending on your requirement you can use the slider to balance the sound which will be on your earphones or headphones connected to this watch and then under interaction and dexterity we have got an all new option called touch and hold delay this feature was on the phones and now we have got this on the watch as well you can set the touch and hold delay time tap duration and we also have an option to ignore repeated touches you can play with these options depending on your needs on the watch so there is a lot of focus on making the interaction with the watch better and smoother then we have got an all new update for the camera controller application. In the change log, it says a feature that allows you to switch between photo and video shooting will be added. Now, I'm not very sure whether it has already been added. I can see only one button here to take the pictures and I'm really not able to switch between the video mode and uh, photo mode here. But when we change that on the phone, we can see the video mode here on the controller as well. You let me know if you have seen any changes on this camera controller application, do drop a comment. Apart from these, there are a few other minor changes as well. And yeah, if you are using a LTE variant of the watch, you will see some interesting changes or new features there. Now you will be able to select the SIM to make a call on the watch. If you have not set a default SIM while making a call or sending a message, you will be asked to select a particular contact number or the SIM that you have on the watch to make that call or to send that message. That will be useful for those of you who are using the LTE variants of this watch. These are some of the important changes that we have received on the Galaxy Watch 4 series with this all new iteration of One UI 4.5, which is of course the Watch One UI based on Wear OS 3.5. Do let me know whether you have received this update or not. Drop a comment and let me know what are your thoughts on all these new changes and features. Are they going to be really useful? Let me know in the comment section. I've also posted a comparison video comparing the Wear OS 3.2 with the Wear OS 3.5. If you want to know what has really changed from the previous iteration of this One UI or Wear OS, do check that video out. I will leave the link in the description. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye. Uh -huh.